hello lovelies welcome back once again to my channel this is myself here it is always pleasant to have you here if today is your first time stopping by hello there and welcome so today we are making a delicious buttermilk biscuits or scones this is so simple to make you can make this in no time so please stay with me till the end and let's make this together part of my sub's kitchen you proud to be part of my sub's kitchen so i'll go ahead and sift my kilo of all-purpose flour you can use soft flour for this i'll add in my baking powder and some salt and sift this all together I'll now come in with two tablespoons of sugar and then mix it together. Now I'll come in with my chilled butter. Yes, you need chilled butter for this recipe. I'll mix it and then go ahead and use my fingertips to mix it all together. You may have some chunks of butter in there, but it is perfectly okay, right? I will make a well in between the flour and then come in with my buttermilk. This is chilled buttermilk. Yes, everything must be chilled. I'll go in with my spatula and mix it nicely before I dig in with my hands. I'm using unsalted butter. So if you don't have one, please feel free and use margarine. But then you have to be careful with the salt that you add. This is my favorite biscuit and I love making it for breakfast so now i'll go ahead and transfer my dough onto my silicone mat you don't have to overwork this dough if not gluten will be developed and that's not what we want here kindly follow the steps and you will get a delicious buttermilk biscuits or scones my dough is sticky so i will add extra flour so i can work on it yeah so as you can see i'm just folding my dough on each other and then i'll press it down just to create layers in the biscuit that's all i'm doing so just look at what i'm doing i'll press it down and then cut my dough into two place it on the other and then again flatten it up and cut it into two place the other half on top of the other and then go ahead and use my hands to flatten it again i will be doing the same process for about five or six times before we go ahead and cut them if today is the first time stopping by hello there my name is myself if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel now follow me on facebook kindly do so and be part of this family I will list all the ingredients and the quantity in the comment section. Don't forget to check it out. So here I have my cookie cutter. I'll place it into flour so that it doesn't stick and then go ahead and cut through my dough. Just look at the size that I'm going for. I'll remove the excess dough and I will work on it again to get more delicious cones from it this is it so beautiful i'll place it on my baking sheet and i am preheating my oven at 180 degrees and we will be baking these scones for about 20 to 25 minutes that is the extra dough that i'm working through so i can cut it and get more scones yes it is so delicious so so delicious kindly give this recipe a try it is so simple i have done this many 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 times and i don't get tired just check our scones it is now ready to be in the oven it looks so good but before it goes into the oven i will brush up my buttermilk on top of it before it goes into the oven if you don't have buttermilk you can use whole milk for this recipe so now it goes into the oven and just after 25 minutes this is what we have here just look at that so beautiful and the taste in here will amaze you it tastes really really good just check the layers we created 
by putting the dough on top of each other and flatten it out. Add lime juice to your whole milk and let it sit for 10 minutes you have your buttermilk. I will be enjoying my buttermilk biscuits, all scones, with some jam and a cup of tea. It tastes amazing. Kindly give this recipe a try and I know your family will love it. Thank you all so, so much for staying with me till this far. I do appreciate your time. If you really like this video, please give me some thumbs up, comment, like and share this video with your family and friends. Until I come your way next time with another simple but yet delicious recipe. Bye for now. Smack like eight.